When I first got the script, uh, I was thrown away by it because it was so strong and so uh, the subject was uh, one that never been dealt with before. Always you see films about uh, the outside conflicts between Israel and Palestinians or the outside problems of Israel and this one was really you could be strict by it because it is a very new thing to deal with. And the most amazing thing is that he wrote it like five years ago where nobody thought uh, a situation like this could ever happen in Israel. And uh, it actually happened uh, in sort of a non-violence way the last summer. And so anyway, when I got the script, I said to myself, this is something that I've got to do because it was written so well, the character were nothing you'd ever saw before on screen. And especially the character of Nathanael, which uh, um, really uh, got me from the beginning. And um, after a couple of auditions, this is Nadav's first film, so uh, he was not known in Israel for, uh, this is his first feature. And uh, we got really connected because as a research for the film, we actually tried to uh, connect with uh, radical groups that exist in Israel, left-wing groups. And so I developed a faked email uh, by the name of the character so I can be involved in those groups and I got really far away. Actually, uh, one time, uh, one, one of those group, they, uh, they are really involved in the separation uh, uh, fence. They're trying to break it. So they're all the time, every second Friday, they go to uh, Arabic village, uh, which is outside the Israeli border. And uh, they're very uh, secret about it. And I was with them, like I went with Nadav and other actors of the, who played the radicals. And uh, we actually, we were followed by the police uh, that uh, got our, uh, v uh, our car number and uh, license and they kept uh, following us for like a month later. And uh, so all around before we started shooting it was just getting to know the persons because the, right, the left wing in Israel is very weak. Even the group that are united to make some sort of a change are really, really uh, weakened by the government, by the police, and by the society because most of the population does not go with them. So we, we wanted to learn the people that, takes, uh, that take action in those groups. So we actually followed them, joined them for two months before shooting and uh, got really inspired by them and we changed the script again and again. And actually, at the end of the film, right seconds before the policeman comes to uh, illuminate the, the groups of the radicals, uh, there is a scene where my character tells the, uh, the girl, the radical girl that uh, works with him, uh, listen, let's just leave everything and run away. And that was put in, in the script a week before shooting because as through uh, research, we, we discovered that most of the radicals, most of the uh, revolutionaries, so-called, uh, are acting th from sort of a, um, something for themselves, something that is a bit uh, uh, not for the people, but for themselves, trying to earn something from it. And the true character reveals itself in the end and that was not originally in the script because as through the research we find out about those persons and then I came to Nadav and I told him what if, what if we could just do it as if the truth comes out at the end because in some way the truth has to come out that they're not really fighting for justice, they're looking for some sort of a solution for their own sick soul. Um, so this came out as an influence for the both of us from uh, the research. 
And also there's a part where a second guy in the group uh, reads uh, some sort of a document that tells you how to be a revolutionary. That, um, for the movie I read a book by Dostoevsky that called, from a free translation of my opinion, Demons, that talks about the revolution in Russia. And he has a manifest inside the book that uh, teaches you how to be a revolutionary. And uh, I, ca I read it and I came to Nadav and I told him, listen, just read it. Uh, it is something pretty amazing because he's talking about all the ideas that Nadav had it in his mind about being a bit disconnected from emotion and being non-obligated to nobody, looking only for answers to how to destroy it and, and uh, put uh, disorganized in the society. And I gave him the manifest and it actually entered the script by uh, one of the character reading it to another character as for explaining about those kind of person that deals with uh, such uh, uh, radical actions. And it was uh, actually amazing that while the film was getting so many good reviews, winning a prize in Locarno and, and uh, being uh, out for screening in Israel, it was with the revolution. The director, Nadav, uh, did not intend for this to happen. He, he, was, uh, he wrote the script five years ago. Mm, this was pretty amazing and it got really strong reaction from the media uh, and from uh, the press all around. Got good reviews, really connected to what happened in the summer without even intending to. And so um, people reacted very strongly to that movie. Also, all around the world, I think we are in the middle of an uh, economic crisis that hits and, and gets uh, all around the world. People are affected by it, and we still don't know the outcomes of it. So you have a revolution movement uh, against Wall Street that's going on around the world, and it's really connected and very contemporary to what is happening. This is what gives the movie really different reactions from people to it. Because some people really like it and feel very connected to it. And some people feel that uh, it is, it gives them, uh, I don't know, it reflects them something that they don't want to acknowledge. So they repress it and they don't, they don't connect to it. And I think one of the reasons is, that um, Nadav did very wisely is to choose to represent all the characters without you able to connect to either one of them. He left you very distant from what you're watching and it made you think. So people who loved it are still enthusiastic by it and people who didn't like it uh, are still talking very angrily about it.